You would rather victim shame the person for being raped. You would rather victim shame the person for being abducted and kidnapped. Somehow it's still their fault. Way of life as cute. Even as I need to talk to you about something very quickly. That's something that we don't talk about. Recently, there's been some cruel, horrible, disgusting acts that's taken place. And the Muslim voice isn't on about it. But I'm about to turn it on. There was a sister in India. Her name is Priyanka Reddy. She's not a Muslim. That's cute. Why are you talking to me about this if she's not a Muslim? Because our job is to enjoy the good and forbid the evil. This sister comes out from her job. And of course, in this later night of the evening, she gets kidnapped. She is raped and she is burnt. Do you know something? That they caught the, the perpetrators, the kidnappers. One of them was a Muslim. I want to point that out to you. And it's important to say that. It's important to understand that we're not doing our jobs. It's important to understand that not all of us are doing the right thing. Now that's a sad story. Like SQ, that's, that's wrong. What's wrong is about to come. That's not what's wrong. In Pakistan recently, a girl named Dua Mangi was kidnapped. She's still kidnapped for over the past three days. Imagine what the family is going through. Imagine if your daughter, your sister, your mother was abducted, kidnapped. God forbid, may Allah protect the women in our family. May Allah protect the Muslims overall. I mean, how would you be feeling? You would have so many restless nights, you wouldn't be able to eat. You wouldn't be able to sleep. You wouldn't be able to do anything. Well, those are bad things, SQ. What's the problem? The problem is that after these bad incidents has happened, Muslims, Muslims have accused the woman for being wrong. Oh, she was raped. It's her fault. She was out too late. Oh, she was kidnapped. It's her fault. She was out too late. Yes, Islam has criteria. Yes, Islam has preventative measures, helpful measures such as having a wali, having someone, a mehram, walking with you in later hours of the evening, yes. But the real issue is how society has fallen down. And we need to address the fact that the issue isn't that they were out late. The issue is that there's such criminals and animals out in the streets and that you're not upset that people like that exist. You would rather victim shame the person for being raped. You would rather victim shame the person for being abducted and kidnapped. Somehow it's still their fault. And that's the problem. Muslims are writing such disgusting things online. Like, oh, it's her fault. She shouldn't be out. What is she doing with herself? No good woman would be out at this hour. That is the incorrect way of looking at things. When we enjoy the good and forbid the evil, we must enjoy what's right. And there's nothing right about kidnapping. There's nothing right about rape. When we forbid the evil, we need to forbid such people from walking these streets. Yes, our sisters, our daughters, our wives, our mothers should be walking with Awali, yes. But at the same time, it shouldn't be so unsafe for them that if they were to step out, that something God forbid would to happen to them. And that's the larger issue that a lot of people have missed. So this is your brother appealing to you. As someone who is, has women in his life, I have daughters myself as you do as well, a mother as you do as well, a sister as you do as well, a wife as you do as well, I am urging you to enjoy the good and forbid the evil. When people speak negatively, when people try to victim shame people, that is wrong. And you must correct them for doing that. We ask Allah SWT to bless us and bless our women and protect our women and fulfill society with good, pious people who enjoy the good, forbid the evil. May Allah SWT make us of those who are paradise as well. Zakat for listening.